Okay, I may be uploading this video a bit too late because I need you guys' help with something, but you're going to have to help me within the next hour. There is a poetry jam tonight um, in the coffee shop here uh, in which people can go and read their poems, and it's kind of a competition. I've been to one out of the four they've had this year. Well, this will be the fourth tonight, and I won first place, so I'm going again tonight. Um, the theme is nature, and I'm trying to pick a poem, so I'm going to read three of them for you guys, one of which I've already done in a video, but I'm just going to read three here really quick, and I want you guys to pick which one you think I should do. Okay, the first one is called A Refuge in the Heights, or A Sonnet for the Mountains. The mountains offer solace in their heights, with caverns giving shelter from the cold. Though haunting gusts of wind blow through the nights, the hills contain the comforts known of old. Although life in the valley often holds less danger than those dwelling at a height, I find the rugged peaks surpass all molds in filling minds with awe, replacing fright. Retreating to the hills can put to rights the pressure that can make the spirit fold, for nothing calms the soul quite like the sights that can be found within this rocky hold. The refuge of the mountains clears the mind as rugged splendor leaves the world behind. All right, that was A Refuge in the Mountains, um, and this is Lead Me to the Mountains. These were both written while driving through the canyons in Wyoming on the way back to Salt Lake when I was staying with my dad one summer. All right, Lead Me to the Mountains. O oh, cowboy, lead me on through western plains, where earth lies still untouched by human hands, where rugged beauty courses through the veins of wind-blown mountains. Ugh, excuse me. O oh, cowboy, lead me on through western plains, where earth lies still untouched by human hands, where rugged beauty courses through the veins, and wind-blown mountains edge the rolling lands. Lead on through rocky mountains capped with snow, and valleys full with sage and hardy brush. Take me to where the desert flowers grow, and show me river valleys green and lush. The land here tames the spirit of a man, instead of breaking down within his gasp. <laughs> The land here tames the spirit of a man, instead of breaking down within his grasp. Convey me from the tame lands where he can bring nature to her pained and final gasps. Oh, cowboy, show me places where you've learned that what the land gives back, the man has earned. And then this one I put in my second to last video, but I'm just going to do it again for comparison's sake. Healing rain. A gentle force the rains of springtime fall. A soothing thaw they wash upon the lands. They melt cruel winter shackles over all. New li okay. And then the third one is in my second to last uh, video, if you saw it. If not, don't worry about going and watching it. Just pick out of the other two, and that's the healing rain one, the one about springtime that was in my second to last video I did when I was feeling kind of down. So let me know uh, which of the three, or if you're not going to, haven't seen the other one and aren't going to go back and watch it, then which of the two that you think I should do? Once again, the theme is nature. Probably won't get a lot of responses to this by the time I run out of time, but that's fine. Um, event I'll leave this video up, uh, but eventually I will like would like to do the two mountain sonnets on their own and with a little bit more relaxed and better reading. Um, I'm kind of rushing right now. So yeah, let me know which one you like better.